Uh, hello everyone to Abhirishi channel. Today I'll be reviewing a paper which was published uh, just a few days back and it is titled Deep 21 um, Deep Learning Method for 21 centimeter foreground removal. So um, uh, as you can see deep is implying deep learning and 21 re implies 21 centimeter which is the uh, spectral wavelength for um, cosmic uh, hydrogen band. So yeah, 21 centimeter astronomy has been uh, gaining a lot of importance nowadays and if you just look up the internet or literature, um, you will just see that uh, 21 centimeter astronomy uh, is important to find uh, some uh, good fundamental uh, 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 explanations that we have uh, about uh, pre-existing uh, astronomy uh, like cosmological things like the cosmic microwave background radiation and so on. So, so yeah, there is a lot of data that we gather from this 21 centimeter intensity mapping. And um, so yeah, th there's all sorts of corrections that you, you know, we need to do with this data. And uh, in this paper, the authors discuss about removing foreground containment uh, by using an image processing neural network technique, which is called uh, Okay, there's a principal component analysis. They compared it with principal component analysis, which is very standard in linear algebra. You try and see the data in dimensional data space, use principal component analysis, reduce the uh, number of uh, independent components, and uh, then see if, uh, okay, are you having a normal representation of the data or not? But yeah, um, they use UNet uh, neural network. UNet is an architecture of convolutional neural network, and it has been pro getting gaining prominence in all sorts of areas. And astronomy is one of them. So uh, this hydrogen measurements help us gain information about uh, our universe uh, evolution and provide an observation to trace um, both the growth of massive structures. Uh, and also like uh, how cosmology cosmo early cosmology was so uh, the way the data is collected is by intensity mapping so um, okay just before i get into how intensity mappings uh, the the authors from princeton university and montreal uh, the university have also published their code on github and collab so uh, yeah I'll, I'll be just going through this code uh, soon so this is the github code and this is the collab code but okay i'll first focus on uh, the paper itself and what it's trying to achieve so first of all this intensity mapping uh, so as you know like hydrogen uh, emissions helped uh, make in precision measurements of the universe's e evolution during this type of uh, red shifted uh, era so we whatever photon information that we get or whatever spectral information that we get uh, red shifted in this area and uh, in that the hydrogen in emission uh, help us um, estimate uh, or trace the growth of how uh, massive structures like galaxies and so on and how they form so uh, yeah, there are various foreground removal techniques. Um, like people have been doing uh, previously. So like there is uh, there is one method called blind uh, foreground subtraction, then PCA residual analysis, and nowadays ov obviously uh, you're also using neural networks. Uh, um, as some kind of a statistical tool and you you want to get better uh, uh, image representation of the data so yeah they uh, have named this neural network model as deep 21 and um, and as per the literature um, it is kind of shown that uh, if you try and see okay now this data they have simulated uh, before I go, go into uh, PCA this data is uh, simulated via this crime uh, simulation code uh, which you can find in the reference uh, it has been kind of uh, well established for uh, s sources uh, and it it helps uh, extrapolate foregrounds from 408 megahertz 
uh, and all this re relevant frequencies using this kind of uh, equations power spectrum equations so I won't be going uh, too much into that but I'll just talk about how uh, they are trying to uh, uh, fine-tune this uh, model neural network model to recover uh, cosmological signals from the PCO residuals so that's the main M so yeah as I said uh, previously people were using blind foreground subtraction for removing foreground uh, foreground um, uh, noise so yeah as you can see okay this is a 3d uh, cube but uh, out of that you take a 2d slice and uh, each voxel you can see here and uh, at different frequencies this is like multi frequency power spectra and at different frequencies you see okay uh, what all residuals you have from the simulation of um, such kind of cosmological uh, red shifted data so um, So yeah, before I get into this architecture, which is called UNet architecture, uh, I would like to just show the results of PCA and how, uh, what all the achievements are with the PCA. So it is right here. So uh, if you see the 2D slice, uh, they have chosen suppose just for demonstration purposes 392 megahertz and um, some random slice. And this is the signal that you have and when, when you do the PCA you have this and uh, and when the, you do the deep reconstruction you have this so um, so whatever uh, things uh, residuals the PCA were kind of eliminating and which was essential uh, part of the cosmological signal they are kind of retained via this uh, neural network and you can just see how big the convolution neural network is so this is the foreground input very very huge data cube uh, I don't know how uh, this simulated data is is it for the expanding universe or it's just a normal uh, three, three dimensional data but okay uh, they try and take some part of uh, local uh, n by n uh, 64 by 64 by 64 uh, patches and uh, they up sample down sample and they also have skip connection uh, so that will just retain all the important features and okay, this after processing this entire uh, data cube you get this kind of uh, uh, output and then you kind of understand okay uh, are we recovering the original signal after uh, the entire all the kinds of noises after removing all kinds of noises or not so so yeah I'll um, I'll right now not go into all this uh, uh, power spectrum uh, details you can uh, I'll link the paper in the description you can go through it in detail but other than that um, I would like to discuss the code uh, since the code is open sourced and okay this is the main uh, the comparison table that they have shown uh, they have used PCS 6 components and they have chosen various beta parameters which is the I guess uh, some kind of cosmological uh, number and then you have alpha they have kept as 0 0.25 so from this simulated data they got various benchmarks and they concluded that okay obviously uh, uh, when you have such big uh, uh, architectures like UNET uh, it helps marginalize out observational noise at small angular and radial scales and it demonstrates uh, improvement over um, sensitivity limit of foreground subtraction over PCA so yeah definitely using neural networks to kind of uh, improve uh, these 21 centimeter data sets is uh, obviously a future thing and uh, like there is some um, radio telescopes this is a square kilometer array uh, which is I don't know it's maybe in the USA I guess 
but yeah they kind of collect this kind of data and uh, whenever you get this kind of data we we need some techniques like this to get the original cosmological signal the original hydrogen spectra so yeah let's without further ado i'll, I'll go on to the code and okay they start with uh, just cloning the repository and the repository is here and uh, from that uh, there's one uh, python package called healpy that they use and it, it gets installed and okay in this uh, deep 21 uh, folder uh, they import various functions and they also import uh, various python uh, array handling functionalities and first of all they plot the original 21 centimeter data and using matplotlib and then uh, this data that they got uh, this is a, a n dot npy numpy array that just they just get from the cloud and now they use the pca uh, using escalons decomposition escalons pre-processing so they standardize the uh, normalize the data they use pca function uh, for PCA you also need to flatten up the three uh, three dimensional data and okay they have this uh, function which they will call after along with the neural network so now they kind of build uh, this um, uh, this function unit they define all the parameters all this uh, are uh, parameters that they have kind of uh, maybe they they are going to do hyper parameter tuning or so or something and now they train the network over a lot of epochs and save the model and then plot the loss train loss and validation loss showing that the model is converging on the given data set and this is the output that they have with pca uh, input and then unit reconstruction so as you can see that um, yeah unit does a decent job of reconstructing the cosmological signal is what they are kind of inferring uh, so uh, like this is a collab notebook even you can uh, download it up uh, in your own local system and run it so as you can reproduce the result so yeah, this sums up uh, the discussion of this paper. Uh, in future work, they have uh, said that there's a lot of scope uh, that they are looking for <coughs> for other types of 21 centimeter BAO uh, recovery data. And they also said that they will vary all the kinds of astrophysical parameters, this alpha, beta that were there in the uh, parameters and uh, get the final uh, get some improvements with their deep 21 model so yeah thanks for watching abhirishi channel i'll be trying try and getting at least one paper every week and trying to explain them so make sure that you subscribe and uh, thank you for watching